This child is another victim of Syria's unending war. He is among many civilians who were taken to local hospitals in Homs, where they were treated for severe burns after what activists say were attacks using incendiary weapons by the Syrian government. We are dealing with a huge number of casualties. We are treating severely burned patients, others whose limbs were badly damaged and therefore had to be amputated. I have seen children who are burnt beyond recognition. We are using sand and mud because it is difficult to put them out. This is the moment al a neighborhood in Homs, was hit by government airstrikes. The area has been under siege for three years. Thousands of civilians live there. Activists accuse Russian and Syrian government jets of dropping incendiary bombs on civilians in Aleppo, Idlib and other rebel-held areas. The latest escalation in violence is likely to undermine UN chances of reaching a deal with all sides on a 48-hour pause in fighting. The UN insists its team won't deliver aid to besieged areas unless all the parties agree on a ceasefire. But the war in Syria shows no sign of slowing down. A Turkish soldier has been killed, the first casualty for Turkey since it sent troops to northern Syria last week. The cross-border offensive is to help the Free Syrian Army regain control of the town of Jarablus. Turkey blames the Kurdish YPG for its soldiers' death. On Sunday, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan visited Gaziantep, where 54 people, mostly children, were killed when a suicide bomber targeted a wedding last week. He told a rally that the army will ramp up support for the Free Syrian Army until ISIL and the YPG are defeated. The terrorists have been firing rockets into Karkamish, but now they're being chased away by our army. Now they are running away to the east, to the west and to the south. They will run away and we will chase them. Terrorist organisations may have different names, but we know they use the same methods for the same heinous purposes. What is the difference between the PKK and ISIL, and between the coup plotters of the 15th of July? In 2011, violence has spread across Syria following a government crackdown on protesters calling for political reforms. The conflict has now turned into a complex battleground where key regional players are involved. People fear the growing regional involvement may prolong the war that has claimed the lives of hundreds of thousands of people and forced millions out of their homes. Hashim Ahbar Al-Jazeera, Gaziantep.